What's good guys, back with another Black Myth Wukong boss guide video. This time we're covering the Wandering White. And now before we get started, if you uh, found this useful, a like would be super appreciated. And if you want to catch more of these boss guide videos, uh, consider subscribing. This guy, I will say when you open up with him, open up with a charge attack. It gives a nice little damage window. Also, it's a good spot to use your freeze to get in even more damage. This guy is very random in his attacks. You're going to see a lot of stomps and swipes. I wish I could give you a specific pattern, but he doesn't really have one. Sometimes he'll stomp and swipe. Sometimes two stomps, then a swipe. Sometimes two stomps, two swipes. Like, it's he's just going to mix it up, and you kind of have to just guess when he's done. Like, he will kind of go stationary for a moment when he's done with the chain. Next, you will have to watch out for this flash attack. It doesn't really have a... a really great window like if you can time it it's nice because it's one of his bigger damaging attacks if you get hit with it it sort of like manifests rocks at your location uh, all i can say is try to dodge to one side if you can because honestly beating him is going to require you to miss this move more often than not next he has his seismic clap he's going to charge in at you with both hands spread open basically just one hit you gotta dodge it there's nothing too crazy about it also he will do a head slam periodically i don't have a ton of footage of that but it's sort of the same scenario next you're going to get into his two-handed tremor when he jams both hands into the ground just be mindful on this tremor there is a damage window both when he slams his hands down and when he pulls his hands back out then you have his larger tremor which is going to be the tremors that he creates with his right hand that's where you can uh, basically he can have multiple charges of tremors chained together that's going to create a larger concentric circle what i will say is just kind of get out of the area let it get it out of his system sometimes he will use the flash attack at the end of it but the the right-handed attack is the more dangerous of the one just because it's going to cover a larger area he will do tremors with his other hand but the left-handed tremors are easier just because he won't chain multiple tremors together when he uses his left hand he's just gonna slam it once then go into another attack finally he has his leap he will sometimes he'll do these two together like leap leap but he'll mix moves in just like he does with everything else basically this guy's really random you gotta utilize your damage windows and try to do as best you can with it uh there's not really set patterns but you get used to them over time Anyways, guys, I hope you found this useful and I hope you get him down. And until next time, guys, get awesome.